I remember when COVID first started happening and um, I wasn't doing anything at the crib. Uh, I was making money doing some like side stuff while I was getting some stimmy, some stimulus packages, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think this should be right here. Yeah, it looks way better. But yeah, I was um, I was getting money <clears throat> from the stimmy. And I was like, dang, I'm getting all this extra money. Like, what should I do with it? Um, what I did was I invested in myself. Um, how about Fruit Loops? At the studio, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I've always wanted to learn how to make beats. I have friends who made beats. Um, and it's kind of weird, you know, trying to learn how to make beats on someone else's computer because it's like, it's their computer. It's just like a weird little thing going on. Um, but, you know, it got to the point where even before 2020, I was making beats on GarageBand, but there's only but so far you can get on GarageBand, like, like just all the sounds, like you can't import sounds, I mean, if you can, I'm just kind of behind the ball game on that, but, um, yeah, it was just, it was just different, uh, you have to do a lot more manual things to kind of make things happen, um, but yeah, long story short, I bought Fruit Loops, $300, um, and because I spent the money, I was like, you know what? Let me start making music. Let me put some stuff together. Uh, I will say my favorite thing to do is sample music. And I think what comes from the inspiration of you know, me making music is like I hear sounds that remind me of my childhood or like some type of nostalgic sound that kind of is attached to a memory in some way. Um, and I was like, I want to kind of preserve that specific sound or whatever I heard. Uh, so a lot of times, like, you know, you'll probably hear something from another song. It's like, damn, he used that song. It's like, I love that part of the song so much that I wanted to use it in a beat and throw my own spin on what it should sound like or what it sounded like in my head when I made it. Um, I will say I'm in love with 808s. I'm in love with bass. Um, I think I love synths and, like, vocals and anything that kind of gives some type of emotion, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, uh, I started that, made a couple beats, they were trash. <laughs> um, but you know, over time I got better. And really, I think what happened is I started um, understanding like my own flow of making music. And it took some time for me to kind of get my own flow. Like, you know, like some people, you know, come in and they make their drums first. Some people, you know, do some melodies and stuff. See, me, I like sampling, so for me, it's just like, I slide that thing on there, you know, I cut what I need to cut up, and I just started manipulating sounds the way, you know, I see fit. Uh, but I, there, was one, there was one person that, uh, his name Jerry, he told me, he was like, yo, when you make the beat, go f the beat. And I was like, yeah, what? Yeah, what? So you go the beat, you gotta make love to the beat. And I'm like, all right, okay. So like, you know, I felt like I didn't need to make music unless I fell in love with a sample first or like I, I fell in love with the sound and like the moment I fell out of love where I didn't want to do it, I just stopped making music. Um, and it, it, it's like a, it sucks sometimes because it's like when I stop liking it, I don't even touch and open the file for like months or like maybe a year you know i have a whole bunch of like project files that i haven't finished or i got content and i was like oh, it sounds good the way it is let me put my little story on instagram oh, okay i preserved it on my phone close the file and i'm done um you know but i say that to say like you know it's not just to make money out of it it's not to like blow up or like be someone else's producer or something like that uh, it's really because I like it you know and um it just helps me remember certain times in my life damn that's a big ass roach let me, let me close my back um I think what I'm doing this video for though is to like kind of let y'all know that like yo like it took me two years before I started posting stuff for real like, I was, like, real, like, hesitant about even putting my stuff out there and <clears throat> until 
other musicians and other rappers are like, yo, this beat hard, let me get that beat, or this, it, this is fine. And I was like, damn, maybe I should start putting stuff out there. And even now to this day, like, I'll make music, I'm like, oh, that's cool. You know, and it's not like I don't think it's going to go big or anything. It's just I kind of want to um, preserve the integrity of of what I created in the sound. And, like, you know, like, I guess it's special to me. Like, you know, if you have, like, that that jewel or that gem, or you're not gatekeeping, but you just don't want it to be out there for the whole world to see, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know, I gotta do better, but maybe this might help me, you know what I'm saying, y'all might see this video and be like, yo, the, the 42 views that you've got on your first track, that track actually hard, and it should have more, you know what I'm saying, stay consistent, um, I haven't made music in a minute, even filming this video right now, I don't remember the last time I made a song, I lied, that was a week ago, it was a week and a half ago. I'm mean, in a fire. Hold on, let me see. Another thing too, like what's good is to see the progression of your music. Like I remember the first beat I made, like it was just basic. Like it was just the regular standard 808 drums that's come with Fruit Loops, uh, some barely you know modified hi hats on the sequencer. And I, I think the sample wasn't even timed right. Like it just, it was just normal. And I was just boom, boom, boom. You know, tomato weights. But I'm, I got so much better now to like listen for different opportunities to um, to have a different sound or like to just you know be different. So you gotta go follow me on my page, Sam Godori. So I had a friend at the time. Her mom was real cool. We had this uh, this game that we play. It's a Korean game called Ghost Door. Like, go stop. Go do. That's how you go. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> but pretty much, I liked the design on it. Like, it was like red birds and like all these. Anyway, to, to win the game, you got these cards and it has like these birds on it. And the bird is like the uh, character of the game or the main character of the game. Or that just means like you're winning the game or some sort. There's a whole bunch of other characters, but those are the ones that you want. Those are the three cards that you want. Or five, really. Um, but anyway, you throw them cards in and you win in like any combination. It was like Korean spades. But I like the name. I was like, hmm, Sam Dodori, Sam Dori. Like, it just worked. Um, but anyway, I took the name. And I like the, uh, I like the design of it. So I just went with it um, on my Instagram. I like, anytime I'm like inspired or I'm on it, I'm like, all right, let me go ahead and throw a little snippet on there for to get some feedback really and see what people think about the beat or the sample or whatever I'm doing at the time um, so a lot of the music that I make is not finished like they're still in the sequencer not arranged not any of that um, but that just gives you guys the opportunity when I say you guys I mean like artists singers um, <clears throat> to like, hey, I don't like how that sounds, can we put this in there, or I don't like the way that sounds, can we put that in there, and I'm like, eh, that cool, that nigga sound like a fucking hyena, god damn, what the fuck? Oh, man, so, uh, one thing about me is that, uh, I'm like a big ambiance person, you know what I'm saying, like, I like, the vibe gotta be right, you know what I'm saying, like, I just gotta be in the best mood to make music. You know, and right now I'm probably not making music, but I'm trying to set it up to make it look good. You know, I got the keyboard out, you know, I got some other stuff going. But um, the reason why I left the other spot, cause it was getting a little dark. And um, you know, I just needed to uh, have a better ambiance to make this video. Mm. But, but yeah, most of the time I chill over here and I'll make some music. You know, I'll tap in for like a couple hours, two, three hours. Uh, I'm also a video editor too, so like a lot of times my videos are like real like meticulous. Um, I like to uh, edit to the beat and I think that's also why I like making music too because I like to edit to music. It's just like it all ties together at some point. Um, but yeah, the story about me, man, like, honestly, um, I think when it comes to making music, like, uh, I'm, like, in a high, like, emotional state for the most part, whether I'm very happy, um, 
upset or like frustrated or like real lazy. You know, anything I feel like, so I'll just do whatever. Um, but I think, you know, the biggest part for me, which made me realize that I love music so much and I like making it, was that how it made me feel when I was listening to the song again that I made or like the sample that I made. It's like, damn, I remember when I was feeling that way. Thank God I don't feel that way anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I remember I couldn't even, like, I couldn't even go to the crib for some point. Cause I was like going through a breakup and I was just like, bruh, like I just hated it. But making music was like allowing me to like key that shit out, you know what I'm saying? Like keying it up. And uh, honestly, I think music saved my life for real. Cause I don't know what I would do if I didn't have no music. I mean, that shit, that shit rough. Like how do you get those emotions out, you know what I'm saying? Like. Anyway, but um, but yeah, I'm here today, and uh, I just want to let you know that I'm just trying to be inspirational to anybody who's just starting something new, whether it's music, YouTube, um, video production, you know, vlogging, like whatever it is that you want to do, like just just do it and just keep moving forward. Even slow motion is better than no motion. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I feel like as long as you keep moving forward and making progress, you're going to get better. Uh, but um, this is see the ambiance is just nice, man. I just want to make something now. I'm gonna tap in real quick. What I would ask of you guys. I mean, if this video goes crazy, it probably might go crazy. I don't know. I've been into the whole hit the record button and just let that shit go, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I hope that you guys like really tap into what y'all like. And um, shoot, I hope you find something on my page that you might like, or maybe it might inspire you to go do something because you heard what I'm talking about. And you're like, dang, I wonder what his music sound like. Wink, wink, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, it might, it might be like, dang, he fired, like, let me, let me go ask some questions or or let me do some more research. Like I am youtubeuniversity.com all the way. Like I learned everything about music on YouTube and you know a couple other friends that are into the music, but you know it's kinda of different when your friends try to teach you. Most of the time they're not trying to teach you to be like, yo, just do this, bro. And I'm like, that's cool and everything, but I wanna understand it. You know? Uh that's how my mind works. If I have any questions, bro, just Hit me, you know what I'm saying? Hit up the, 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 the Instagram page, it's gonna be right here somewhere. I can't see the screen, it's so far away. Um, but yeah, man, just hit me up on the Instagram page. Shoot, hit a comment on the YouTube page. I'm trying to do some more videos. Uh, get Be more connected to y'all. Cause I know there's a lot of producers out there who make some fi-fi, like some real good stuff and just, I don't know, you need a little motivation, a little inspiration. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got for you. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy this ambiance. It's Bluetooth. <laughs> I ain't doing shit, cuz I'm just checking my stocks. That's all I got for you, man.